In this Shopify tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your Shopify store step by step from start to finish. We are going to cover everything from signing up to launching your first store ready to sell your products. That includes choosing your theme, adding your products to your store and setting up your payments. And if you're outside of the United States and you don't have a bank account, don't worry, I got you. And I'm not going to waste your time and ramble about things that are not important and then try to sell your job shipping course for $9.99. You know I'm not about that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's get started. So the first step is to click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment and it will take you to the Shopify website. This will get you a 14 day free trial for Shopify. So do that now and let's go from there. So once you're there, just specify the email address. I recommend create a different email from the ones that you normally use and then select start free trial. So they're going to ask you a couple of questions about your business. If you want, you can fill it out, but we can skip it right here. We can skip and skip. At this point, you can give your store a name, although it's optional. I'm going to call it Morris Watches. Select next. And then you can select your region, select next. So you can continue with the email to get your 14 day trial. And once you have specify your password, just create Shopify account. It's in the process of building your store. So now we're inside our Shopify dashboard, which you're going to be learning to use in this video. So we're not going to cover every single thing here in the dashboard because some of it is self-explanatory. So I'm just going to give you all you need to know to get your store up and running. So let's get right into the fun stuff and start building out our store. So head over to your left and select store, select themes. As we can see, we have the current theme, which is a dawn theme, which comes default with every Shopify store. You can go ahead and select the action tab, select preview, and you'll get an idea of what the layout of your theme will look like. Head over back to your dashboard. Now, when choosing a theme, make sure it's something that is close to what you already envision for your website. So when it comes on to launching your store, you don't have to make much modifications. So if you want to choose a different theme, you have a couple of different options. So let me just scroll down and show you. So you have the free themes and you have the Shopify themes. So you can visit the theme store and take a look at what the themes are like and then you can browse through and then decide which one you want if you're going to go ahead and purchase but the ones in the free section are pretty good so you can check those ones out and then you can just decide which one is best for your business so make sure to go through the themes and select one that is close to your brand or the product that you want to sell then all you have to do is just make upload your products and change the brand into your liking so if you want to change your theme, just select the theme that you want. Click add theme to library. Now to make this theme active, you have to select action and select publish. But I don't want to use this theme, so I will be rolling, keeping my default theme. So now we're going to start customizing our store. So I'm going to scroll up to the top and then right click and open in a new tab. So before we start building, I'm going to be giving you a quick overview. So here at the top, we can switch which page we are working on. So you have the products, collections, collection list, pages, blog, blog post, cart, and checkout. You don't have to worry too much about the other pages like the checkout page because they are already built for you. We'll see that later on in this video. So here at the top, we can change the view from desktop view to mobile view to full screen. So let's switch it back to desktop for now. Let me just go back to the mobile view real quick. You want to ensure your mobile view looks really good because a lot of these customers nowadays, they are using their mobile phones to view websites. So toggling between the views as we build our website is going to be helpful in this video. So let's head back to desktop. So if you're not really familiar with websites, so at the top we have the editor section and scroll all the way down to the bottom. We have the footer section that can have links and other information like your privacy policy page and all of that. Now in this section, you have the rich text section that speaks about your brand and you have the image banner 
which is all of this right here now you can remove any section that you want from your website by just clicking on it and select remove section so there it's just gone from our website just like that and then you just select save now you can add a section to your website by going down to the bottom left and selecting add section and then select the section that you want for your website so let's say we want to add a rich text section again we can just select rich text section and it's there back on our website and you can drag it and add it to a different section of your website wherever you want it so let's say just below the header section and then select save so now that i've given you a nice little overview we are ready to start building and we are going to be doing a top down approach so we are going to be starting from the header section so we're going to select header select image and then you can upload if you have it on your desktop and then select the one that you want select select and here you can change the width of the logo and increase the size so this looks perfect for now and you can choose which position you want it to your left to the center or in the middle now let's select the top of our page where we have the announcement section let's say you have a discount code and you want to boost some sale then you can make the change to the top of your page so let's say 10 percent off store wide select save now if you don't want the announcement bar on your website then you can just scroll down to the bottom and select remove block that will get rid of the announcement page from the top of your website so select save because i don't want that on my website now but if you want you always can always scroll down back to the bottom select add section and then you can search for announcement bar so now let's move on to the next section of our website which is the image banner so i need to remove this from my website because i don't want this right now that's the rich text remove section so select image banner then select change and select image then we're going to upload the image that we want for our banner select open and then we should have a nice image for our website now you can see almost everything is coming together just perfectly already now select and save you want to ensure the image you're selecting is high quality and it says a lot about your brand because when you come on a website and see something like this well nice and professional you want to stay on the page a little bit longer and see what the website is all about and then the customer will eventually end up spending some money with you now over to your left you can make additional changes to your banner if you want you want to change alignment you can then select the one that you want let's say you want to push it to the left then you can do that or you want to put it to the right make it more readable and then you can scroll down to see additional options that are available to you so if you want to change the contents you can just select it and then change the information there now if you want to move this line and put it above timeless watches then you can just select this icon here and it moves it to the top it just changes to discover our collections once you do that select save now you can select your shop all button and then decide where you want to redirect customers to so here it's saying first button link all products so that's fine you have an option to select the list of products or pages where you want to redirect customers to so that's okay for now and let's scroll down let's see if we want to make any more change well that's supposed to be it for our own page and if you want you can also add a second image for your banner but we're not going to do that now now i'll be moving on to the next section of our website which is the featured collection now the featured collection is a great way to drive traffic towards specific products or boots your sale that you want in a specific category so i'll be building out this featured section portion now in order to have products being displayed on these pages we have to go back to our shopify dashboard and create some collections so we should still have it open so just go over to your shopify dashboard select products 
select collections and then here you can start creating your collection so i'm going to delete this collection which is already here so select it more action and delete collection now select create collection and i'm going to be given this uh, collection name let's say men's and then you can give it a description but i'll be leaving that for another time just to save some time but ensure you put enough description to add metadata for your product which helps with search engine optimization now you can have an automated or manual i'm going to be doing a manual for now but later on you can explore the automated option and then you set rules and decide what gets added to your collection so i'm going to select manual for now and i'm going to select an image which will be a representation of all the and that will be a representation of all the products that will be in that collection so i'm just going to upload an image open now select save and select go back to men's and as you can see we have one collection here and you can create collections for all the other items or features or sections that is on your website so i'm just going to go ahead and create some others right now now i've went ahead and created three other collections now in order for us to use these collections on our website we are going to have to make them available so select all of them select more action and make collection available so i'm going to go back to my website editor now we can refresh our page and make sure everything is updated now we don't have any products in our collections as yet hence no products are being displayed so for the multimedia collage we need to select our collections so i'm going to select the main collection select and then i'm going to also be selecting the women's collection from here select women and for this section then i would need to have a product but i don't have any product defined as yet so i can select create product give the product a title we're going to leave the description for now choose the image that you want and here you can select your product type as apparel and accessories if you want you can fill out the vendor information and here i'm going to be specifying the price let's say a hundred dollars cost per item a hundred dollars and you can fill out all these information but i'm going to be saving this for now so let's go back to our editing page on the next tab and let's refresh now we can select a product and set select save changes it's saying sold out because i didn't add any more products to the inventory now we can remove the section of our website because we don't need it remove section we don't need this section either so let's remove it as well and select save now that you know to add a product let's go back and make some changes to get rid of that sold out so select products select the one that we have on here and for the compare price you can let's say had a hundred and seventy dollars and on the website the customer will be seen that it was a hundred and seventy and then back to a hundred dollars now cost per item let's just change this to say you paid sixty dollars for it and you can see that your profit margin is forty percent and your profit will be forty dollars for that sale now let's add a sku and then it says save so we can update the quantity of our product so now we can update the quantity of our product so let's say 50 and save this product is a physical product and you should know your weight information so let's say 0. 
one kilogram and then you can add the country or region that you are selling from so let's say I'm in Canada now so let's select Canada Ontario does this product has any options like color size if you have different color if your products have different color then this is where you can change the values so let's say it's colored then you can see black then you can see it's black then you can see it's black done so that would be for the default color and then you can go ahead and make the upload the other products and then add the additional colors this should be sufficient for this product so select save so now let's scroll down a little and then from here we can add this to multiple collections so I'm gonna say men and new arrivals and scroll back to the top and this page product is already active on the page can be also in a draft state so if you want it on your webs if you don't want it if you don't want the product to show on your website immediately then you can set it to draft so the final thing we need to do here is select save now I'm just going to go back to all the list of products and you can see we have the one product it's active 50 in stock and we have one variant which was the block which we created and the category is apparel and accessories. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some additional products. So this should be enough to work with so let's go back to our products page refresh and let's scroll down and take a quick look at our website so everything is looking in fine and looking in order in order to fill this gap all i need to do is just add another product but now you should get the gist of how to do all of that now let's scroll down to the bottom of our page and see if everything is fine if we're supposed to click on the link here then it will take us to all the men's collection guys i'm not the best when it comes on to design so bear with me with the background color and the images that i have selected so to fill the spaces all you need to do is just add additional products so let's go back from the main section select customize again and then let's scroll down to the footer section of our website so here we can add some quick links to this section like our privacy policy our referent policy and all of that information but first we need to create those pages so let's go back exit and then scroll down to the settings section now scroll down and search for policies select policies now the great thing with shopify it has templates so you can create whatever you need from a template so this is the refund template so create from template privacy policy create from template and we also have the terms of use so create that from template as well now the shipping policy you would have to specify that one for yourself and for the contact information then you can also create that from template so let's save now it's time for us to make it visible on our footer so let's exit go back to the shopify editor then scroll down to the navigation section now select the footer menu add menu item select link and then select policies and then add the privacy policy the refund policy or any other link that you want in this section we don't want to search so let's delete the search and then select save now let's go back to our shopify editor select back select themes and customize now ensure you refresh your page let's scroll down to the footer section and you should be seeing the links that were created 
now we can change the menus that you have here let's say we don't want to show that so we can say remove menu and it should be removed we don't want the subs if you want to subscribe to our mailing list this is mainly for email marketing and promotion you can keep it so i'm going to add that for now and then for this i'm just going to be selecting the footer menu as a placeholder for now you can customize or create additional menu if you want so let me select that and select save so our website is getting there i'm just gonna add another product here now it's important to ensure that all the images are of the same size so that's why i'm having the gap here but you can always change the image so let's go back and make a few changes to our top menu here so let's go back exit and then scroll down to navigation and you can select the main menu now i don't want the catalog nor are the home so we can remove that remove remove catalog as well so what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be adding some collection so we'll search the link section and select catalog and then let's say we want the men's catalog to be on the menu select that select add and then we're going to do the same thing for the women's catalog it's got select collection select women select add and if you want you can also add like the new arrivals as well and select add select save to keep our changes select back to or go back to our main menu now if you want to add a page that is not there as yet then you can select the pages tab and then you can create the page like the about us page just like we have a contact and then you can link it to the menu from the navigation section so let's go back to our editor customize and let's change the view change it to mobile and then once you click on it you should get a menu like that and for the desktop then you should see the menu like that as well and depending on which team you are using it will show up differently now another thing that you want to check out is the theme section on the bottom of the page you can select the colors and customize it to the look and feel that you want you can change the entire font of your website you can also customize the buttons the cards if you have any on the theme that you selected different media your badges your icon your social media you can put in your social media links and once you put them in it will be shown on the footer section of your website you can change just about anything on it now the favicon is another important one once you change the favicon it will change this icon here at the top of your website so you can design a favicon for your website and then you put it there so you can take your time and play around with all of these information to customize your site to get the desired look and feel that you want so let me step back i didn't make any changes so i don't have anything to change at the save at this point another thing we want to check out is our mobile view if you scroll down this looks pretty good but this doesn't this is not ideal for the mobile view so let's change this real quick so select on the, select the featured collection that you want to make the change to and then when you scroll down look for the section that says mobile layout and it shows the amount of column that you want so let's say one column and then that will take care of that view and we're going to do the same thing for this section as well now for the meet multimedia collage we want to select column this will change the layout for the mobile view now this should be very nice on any mobile phone that we view it from so let's select save changes now let's go back to the home page and make some modification to our website before it's ready for publishing so scroll down to preferences 
and specify the title of your website and for the meta description give a nice brief overview of your business because this help with the search engine optimization so i'm just gonna use some filler for now and if you want to connect your facebook you can set it up from here and you can take your time and read through all this information now what we want to do is scroll down to the password section so currently only me alone can view my website so if i launch my website visitors won't be able to access it unless they have the password so that is not ideal so what we have to do in this case we have to pick a plan to get rid of that password thing at the time of recording this video shopify have a basic plan of a dollar for three months normally this will be like about $24 or $25 so if you're watching this video at this time it's a good time to capitalize on those first three months while you're figuring out your way with Shopify so for most users who are used watching this video I believe the basic Shopify plan will be good enough for you so I'll be selecting this basic plan <laughs> So bear in mind that we are in the trial phase for the next 14 days. So if you cancel your store before that, then you won't be charged. Now, once you have decided on the plan that you want and you have selected your payment method, select start plan. Now go back to the online store, select preferences, and then scroll down to the end of the page. Now we can remove the password protected. Select save congrats your store is now open for our business let's close that for now let's view store this is what your website will look like on the internet and at the end you see the different payment options privacy policy and these are the links that you can always customize to suit your own look and feel. Browser collections. And it will just pretty much list out all of your products. So now let's go into some important settings that is needed before you launch your store. So select settings from the bottom of the page. Select more details. And you can edit basic information. So this is your store name. So let me call this Morrison. And then also the legal name of your business and this is the registered name you want to ensure that your address is correct because this is the information that will be on your bills and your store currency would it be canadian dollar pounds euro or us dollars and you can change the time zone if needed and these are the different unit system and the unit system you can change it if you wish I won't be changing anything else here so I'm just going to hit the save button now we can select the plan option this is the basic plan that I have which will be $29.99 monthly after my three months is up with the dollar per month trial as you can see one dollar USD for the next billing cycle scroll down to the billing information the billing information section is pretty much a section that you'll be using to pay shopify for any fees that you have for them let's look at users and permission real quickly if you want to add another staff you have someone who is managing your store then you can add them here now for the payments this is the most important and one of the sweetest part of setting up your shopify store this is where you need to set up where you get paid so for my Caribbean friends or international friends who don't have a US bank account and you want to accept Visa payments, Amex, pay, Amex payments, MasterCard or things like Apple Pay, then, then Shopify payments won't work for you if you do not have any of those bank accounts. But guess what? You can use WISE to receive payments. You can use WISE, transfer WISE to create a US account a Canadian account or a Great Britain account almost any account from around the world so I'll leave a link to that video in the description below I highly recommend you set up your Shopify payments you can also accept PayPal and for manual method 
if for some reason you can't get um wise to work for you then you can set up a like say a, a bank deposit and then you specify the instructions to the customer so if i complete account setup here specify your your personal information and this information here is what will be on your customer's billing statements you want to ensure it is your business name so let me just say morris watches now let's say my account was in the united states then you can put your routing and account number here remember guys if you don't have a wise account you need to get one to accept your payments you don't need to be worrying about how you're gonna get your payments and then if you're in canada then you can select put in your transit institutional and account number and one thing with wise transfer you can use wise transfer to transfer money directly to your bank account however there will be a telegraphic fee which will vary from bank to bank which i'm not going to be going into that right now so i'm just going to be using my us bank account information here once you have specified all the relevant information above select complete account setup and just like that you will be getting deposited to your account now one of the sweetest part of this setting up your shopify store is when you get those little notification that you have received a payment and make sure you do a test transaction before you go live with your store now if you want to deactivate a payment method like paypal all you need to do is just select manage and then select deactivate paypal express checkout payments now if you want cheaper alternatives like stripe then all you need to do is scroll where it says add payment method then you can search by the different providers like stripe mastercard or any of the many options out there that you want to use as you can see there are a ton of them so let's say we want a firm on our website then select affirm and then select activate connect your account and then it will go to the website for you to connect affirm to your website but we're not going to do all of this right now so select cancel now the next minute next thing we need to view is the checkout option which is pretty straightforward here are some options that you can decide on if you want for your store or do you want the customers to don't use account accounts are optional accounts are required it's up to your store select a contact method select how you want to decide how customers get shipping information and you can go through all the list of this and decide which one is best for your business and shipping and delivery you can choose and manage your delivery options which is best for your business again so you can decide if you ship internationally or you don't ship internationally and add your shipping rates let's go back to taxes and duties and you have to complete the tax information customers will pay when they purchase your products let's go down to the section which is important the domain's name now if you look at the url you'll realize that my website is saying morris watches that by shopify.com that is not really professional and that doesn't really represent your business so here we have the option to buy a domain name like if i just wanted to buy morris watches then i can select buy a domain and then i could buy that from here and then you can purchase that domain for 14 dollars a year but you can get that at a discount you can buy your domain at oskater.com or you can buy your domain at namecheap.com i'll leave link to that in the description below where you can get domains for less than seven dollars per year and then instead of buy domain you choose you'd select connect existing domain and then you search for your domain name that you want to connect 
Now here you can select different variations of your logos for your website and pretty much go through additional settings that you want for your website like you want a slogan, a short description and had any other social media links that you need. Now let's go on to notification. Now these are the different notifications that you can get. So if you want, you can customize and turn off them. The ones you need or you don't and turn off the ones that you don't need. So that's pretty much all about it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your Shopify store. See you in the next video.